to be honest, was my first time uh, doing that this kind of 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 you know talk with the with the boys. You know, when I was a kid, uh, a lot of of people from my city, famous people from my city, like soccer players or you know just famous just famous people. I don't remember in in, in what area, but they talk with us and I think that was a very important uh, part of my development like an athlete, you know, uh, heard about uh, stories, uh, discipline, um, sacrifice, hard work uh, and inspire these boys. I mean, if just one guy uh, get the correct words from us, I think this is really, really important. Entonces, a base de muchísimo esfuerzo eh, salieron adelante. Yo de hecho, híjole, vengo de tan abajo, mis, mis abuel, mi abuela materna, de hecho, perdió un hijo simplemente por no tener las oportunidades de darle de comer a esa persona, ¿no? Entonces, I can kind of understand it, I can speak it okay, but just give us the clip notes version of what you told the kids. Uh, you, 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 you spoke in Espanol most of the time. I know. I mean, just, I talked with them and said, um, for a kid, I, I grew up in, uh, in a third world country when the government don't uh, do uh, support to the athletes, the, the biggest companies don't do support to the athletes, and it's hard to be an MMA athlete there, you know, in, in Mexico City, because it, it, it's too hard, it's too hard, and, and just hard work, discipline, sacrifice, is, uh, get my dream and, and go uh, go forward every day and it's hard and it's it's just this it's just the same is i i'm trying to make an an impact for just one kid i think just one kid is a really difference you know um it's hard it's, it's hard because i i heard a history in mexico um, of my uh, one of my uh, partners in, in my classroom, classroom they make up a lot all day in the in the class you know like makeup, makeup yeah. you know all day in class and now he's a youtuber he's a youtuber they start to make you know dreams come from yeah. a lot of places and that for me that's this is the most important thing I'm gonna give you guys a very similar story, except mine's gonna be in English. So, uh. Uh, for me, I think that uh, you know, with the with the internet and uh, social media nowadays, I think it's it's great to like people know what to do. Like, there's so much like motivational stuff out there, and like you're told constantly what to do. But I think it's still important to see like real life examples of of things like where things weren't going your way or you didn't have uh, a good start and you see real life examples of people changing their their trajectory in their life and, and coming from nothing to a certain amount of success, but not just somebody telling you that they're doing that or uh, they're actually, they're doing it and this is a, a real life example of, hey, this is what I did that worked for me and this is what Brandon did for that worked for him. And uh, I think it's good because it's so hard to relate to the internet. Like you can read the information, but you can't relate to it, but you can relate to other people that have gone through those same struggles that you have and now are successful. And I lose again. So <laughs> this is my third opportunity, third time's a charm, I come up short. And then in my head, I just, I, I can't do it anymore. The, the roller coaster, I can't, I can't do the, the up and down, the up and down, the up and down. So I, I, I retire, I quit, you know, like I, I still train, I still train every day because I really, I really love the, the sport and I, I, I just couldn't see myself not going into the gym every day. Uh, and then I still fight, I start fighting again, uh, just I don't really have any aspirations to go anywhere with it and I, I start fighting again and then finally I get a call to fight uh, one of the, one of the top ranked guys in the, in the world at the time in his hometown on like two weeks no 16 days I think it was and I'll, I'll say this guys like if if you guys have ever played uh, any sport really and if you've ever had that moment it doesn't have to be sports anything you do where you're just on like you just feel it you know you're you're on that was that moment for me and and there was something different about it I didn't call my wife I didn't you know I just I put my head down and I and I went into that and I, I just worked it was only 16 days but I went in and uh 
we get fight of the night, I get submission of the night, and I, I, I truly did change my life. I won two $50,000 bonuses, and I won like $120,000 in, in, uh, in one night. So for me, I never made that amount of money in my entire life leading up to that. So for me, like if you just impact one kid, you know, it's, uh, man, it's yeah. just, just coming from the upbringing that I came from, there just wasn't a lot of, uh, of there wasn't a lot of examples of positive influence. You know, there wasn't a lot of examples of what success should look like or what somebody did. Like, I just had people telling me I was getting financial advice from homeless people, if you will. You know what I mean? Like that. But nobody was like, I didn't have real people to look up to, and 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 follow. You know, now like my hope is like a kid can hear Brandon's story, go on and social media. And, and follow Brandon and see like maybe get a look into the mindset of Brandon and you know they can relate to him they can connect to him because they've met him and now they feel a part of like hey like I, this is something I can do this guy's doing this I've met this guy he's real you know I can I've actually talked to him before and and like he said if you can connect with one kid and change that it makes it all worth it. Well, and also you're from the Midwest and you're from Mexico, correct? From Mexico, exactly. Yeah, and so a lot of the people, the examples they had to look up to were people who basically just aspired to be blue collar because that was kind of their, you know, their end game, right? And then you guys come in here and uh, I liked what you talked about telling the kids like, you know, look, I, I do what I want. I do my own thing. You know, when you grow up, it's, it's not going to be like that if you go into the workforce. When you start now, you might be able to build your own dream career. Well, he's talking about playing video games. Like people are getting paid millions to play. I mean, there was a 16 year old kid. It's crazy. Like, what do you want? Like a 60 million dollar Fortnite tournament or something? That's one of the true. largest paydays. You know, the, the the opportunity available for these kids is endless. Like people are getting paid to play video games now. They're getting paid to make stupid videos on YouTube. They're getting paid for social media, and it's like if you. This is just, we're just an example of, of one thing that we love to do and we get paid for, but there's so many opportunities. And like, if, if you can't, once again, not even if you want to fight, but just a relation like, hey, these guys are doing what they want to do every single day. Why can't I make millions playing Fortnite? Or why can't I make millions making YouTube videos? Like, it's all possible now. I ended up uh, buying a gym, starting a gym up that, that I was training out of. It wasn't doing very well from a business standpoint. Bought it, changed it around. And that's kind of like been the trajectory for me to uh, make my life to where we can show up to work every day and work, I, I, I think I speak for both of us. Guys, I'm in, I live in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm in Las Vegas talking to you guys at like four o'clock on a Thursday. You know, and I don't have to ask anybody to, to, if I can leave, you know, I, I can come and go as I please. He's the same, so. And, and, and even if they weren't listening, I can almost bet anything that something we said they can re recite something they said and and if that sticks you know that that's a big difference so like it's not even i think the thing that we do is and this is the the situation that out there today is very similar in the situation that we're put in with mma is like when we're training hard it's not uh you're you're getting a chance you're training hard you're dedicating you're sacrificing for the opportunity not even like there's no guarantee that just because you sacrifice in hard work there's no guarantee that you're going to get in especially with him coming from, from, from Mexico, it's like, that's not a big market there. You know, he's had to change geographically. He's had to sacrifice way more than I've had to just, you know, so the fact that he's came, came from that, but all his hard work and sacrifice, my hard work and sacrifice, that is just for the opportunity, the possible. So a couple things that to, to take my stories. One is guys, you're going to, you're going to encounter failure. It's, it's, just, it's a part of it. You're going to, you're going to encounter a uh, failure. You're going to encounter hard times. I'm no, I'm no stranger to, uh, to tough times. So you're going to have those. And that's just like part of your story. It's going to make, it's going to make for a way better book later. Um, and, and the tough times may come now. They may come later. They may come both. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And then, you know, there's guys, how many guys do you know that are so good outside the UFC that ne will never get their shot because they've messed up their career or they've took stupid fights or whatever. So, you know, it's, it's, for us, for me to go out, to be able to, even the opportunity to get to talk to them is, is worth it to me. Guys, you have to like dedicate to something, right? Like you have to, if you want to be good at something, you have to dedicate time. You have to sacrifice time away from friends. You have to sacrifice time away from family. I, I know I speak for myself when I say this. I'm sure this guy has sacrificed quite a bit to be where he is uh, today as well. But you guys are going to have to sacrifice to, to get what you want to get. So, man, I, I, I can't. I can't stress to you guys how important it is to just trust in the process and, and what you guys want to do. Find something that find something that you love because if you don't love what you do, whenever the times get tough, you're gonna to want to quit. That was appreciate it. And I right, so thanks so much.